guys, welcome to the awakening. Today is a hundred and five, I think. Um, right. Today I want to talk about some of the comments that people are putting on here. Um, and I want to talk about what the awakening is and why I started the awakening. Right, I started the awakening because I wanted to help people wake up. All right. <laughs> and um to wake up you have to feel you have to feel your feelings it's it's all about feeling 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 and one of the things is that um, when people get back to me and say oh if you weren't so much in your ego you'd have more success is um makes me want to come on here and tell those zombies um that i am not in my ego I am working through everything and the fact that I'm asking for forgiveness, um, the fact that I'm saying I'm sorry, the fact that I am admitting that I have got issues um, shows that I'm not a victim. I am not a victim that I am prepared to take responsibility for everything. And that's the difference between you and me by projecting and judging me, um, you're not, okay? So whoever put that on, um, I don't go out there and I don't tell you things that are not real. I sit on here and I tell you real stuff because I feel that every human being has a right to do what I'm doing, to say how you really feel, all right? And so by me doing it, maybe other people will be prepared to say the truth as well love if people love you then you're going to feel loved and you're going to go out there and you're going to go and do big things with your life bigger things with your life you're going to go out there and you're going to thrive because humanity thrives on love and whoever you are and whoever you're protecting that is not love. That is some kind of victimhood because that's what you saw in my talk yesterday. You saw some kind of victimhood. You saw ego. Interestingly enough, other people saw love. Other people saw, said thank you. Other people said, well done for saying the truth, Lauren, that you are asking for forgiveness because you are admitting, it's like the 12 steps. Step eight is when you admit, you make a list of all the people you harmed and you say you're sorry, that's it. You say you're sorry because you want to move on. And until you can say you're sorry, you cannot move on, all right? So to the, whoever felt that they needed to put that on my status, it's showing me a total victimhood, someone who feels that everyone is to blame for everything and they cannot take responsibility for anything that's going on in their life. Now, today I didn't get out of bed. I couldn't breathe uh, for grief and pain and suffering of what's going on in our world and for the grief of the unkindness of the human race as well. And so I don't give a shit what you think. The truth. I think the human race, I think it's a huge amount of the human race are cruel, cold, calculating, don't give a shit about people like me. And that's why I'm on my own. Um, they're full of fear. Um, they're living in total panic and fear about everything. And so anyone who dares to show them this they can't be around them, they can't function. And I'm telling you the truth. And the awakening is for God's sake, just wake up. Wake up and say your truth. For God's sake, get on a program and say how you feel, how fucking horrible you feel, how lonely you are, how depressed you are, how scared you are, how angry you are, because as children, we weren't allowed to do that. So now do it, do it. Because if you don't, you won't grow. If you don't, you won't move on, okay? 
and then go to those people that you are able to accept that you hurt them from here and say you're sorry. Say you're sorry because it means that you understand that you make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, okay? We are not God, we are human. And that idiot that said to me, oh, you can't use singing, um, you can't talk about mental health recovery, how does that work with the COVID tour? That Q idiot, now I have a lot of respect for Q, don't get me wrong, but when they start saying to me, you choose my way or else, that doesn't work for me. And I hope to God that Q is real. The same way as that idiot came on here and said, my president is everything. My president is going to fix the world and all of you. And I said, well, I hope to God he is. Because 1% of me is saying he isn't. And it doesn't matter. It's up to you to wake up and save humanity yourself. Save yourself and save humanity. So those of you that come on here and put these comments and you got likes for saying it, great. That's what the awakening is. And if you don't like it, don't watch. It, on the other hand, I spend 24 hours a day sometimes putting out there the truth of others, all the freedom fighters and all the truth. And you don't watch that either, okay? So maybe watch some of my other work before you come down on me like a ton of bricks when I'm doing the awakening, which has a specific message of waking up people to be honest. The awakening is about honesty. Do your own. The awakening is about me coming on here and saying to people, I cannot cope. Can you? Or are you just hiding away, pretending that you're coping by hurting everybody? And if I'm hurting body, at least I'm prepared to admit that I'm hurting people and I'm saying I'm sorry. You know, I can only do my best. But why don't you watch the... I've had 56,000 views. Maybe you should go and watch some of my other programs. Go and watch some of my other programs and see whose ego is working here and what I do for humanity. You know, just fuck off my channel, fuck out, out of my life, because you have no feelings, you're zombies, and it's your fault that people like me are like this. From the beginning of time, people without hearts that came to this planet and rejected people that have real feelings, people that are not afraid to feel here and to say the truth of the shit. The truth, that Q may not be the truth, that Trump may not be the truth, that I don't know what the truth is. I will find out. All I know, what I know in my heart, that you have to save yourselves. The awakening is about you admitting that you're screwed up because society screwed you up. Like it screwed me up. And it screwed all of us up. When you admit to that, then you might have a chance in hell of recovering. You have to come out of your denial. The first step in, in the 12 steps is all about coming out of your denial. Come out of your denial. I am not able to cope with my anger, my fear, my drinking, my smoking, my drug using, my, my food, my codependency, whatever. I don't have those apart from um, a food thing and the fact that I just want to be with people. You, you that put that comment on, do you have a family? Do you have a child? Do you have a job? Do you have a home that you're not going to be evicted out of? Did you have a happy childhood? Yeah? Well, guess what? I had none of that. None, none, none. And I have none of it now. Okay? So put yourself in other someone else's shoes put yourself in you're probably the person who says oh they deserve it they deserve the fact that they're homeless they deserve this they deserve that lauren deserves it lauren deserves to be heard because she's a cold-hearted bitch good good i'm glad she's suffering that's because you got no empathy and i can put myself in your shoes
you have no feeling. You don't want to feel your own pain. So you project your anger onto me and say it's all about ego, right? Well, guess what? It's the opposite. It's the opposite. By, because the whole of the awakening, you have to wake up. You have to rub your eyes and say, I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about any of this. This fear and this anger and the way people treat me and the way I've behaved because of the way I've been treated in life. Because I'm like a little porcupine that boom, 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 shoots out. And so are you, those of you, you're like little porcupines that go psh, 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 because you've been hurt. And a lot of you have been hurt so badly. You don't just hurt others, you hurt yourself all the time. You hurt yourself. And I am here to tell you that until you realize that you have a right to say everything that I am saying here on Moving On TV, and I invite you on to Moving On TV to do it, until you feel you have a right to say, life is shit. I got nothing. I didn't get a happy childhood. I got wars, terrorism, pedophilia, sexual abuse, a label, no work, no family, no kids, no adoption, no home, no safe country. Someone who wants to go and stick a needle in me in order to make more money out of me. A, a world where they abort full-blown babies and abuse them and eat them when I could have adopted and they wouldn't let me, right? There you go. I am fucking pissed off with the whole thing. And that is why I am on here telling you that. Because I've got guts and courage to do so. And I know what's wrong with my world. And so I am saying I'm sorry to those that I hurt because I'm so angry. Because this is what lives in me. You are fake and false if you can see beyond what I'm trying to project here in the awakening. And you really, really encouraged me to get on here. Like that idiot that said to me that singing and talking about mental illness has no connection to a COVID tour. I just wanted to wipe the floor with him. He's got a Q sign. I, of course, singing and entertaining is going to break down the barriers. It's going to get more people dancing with you to Piaf to Lord. You know, how can you not dance to Piaf? And the minute you start dancing and singing, your barriers come down. The ordinary public will be more open to listening. And then you talk about the fact that you got diagnosed because you had lost your mother, you were in grief, and, and instead of giving you a grief label, they gave you BPD, um, borderline personality disorder label. You went into a therapeutic community and you healed without medication. How do you think that is? Why can't you see the progression of how that is leading to talking about that vaccinations are not the answer, medication is not the answer, because you cannot see beyond your eyes? Isn't that what I put in heart vision? See beyond your eyes. I am showing you you. This is not about my ego. This is about me being a mirror to wake every single one of you up to understand that if you don't, we are finished. If you don't take back your power and say, I have a right to work, I have a right to adopt. Everything that I didn't have, I have a right to not be abused as a child. I have a right to not grow up in wars and terrorism. I have a right to be happy. I have a right to have friends. I have a right to have family. Fuck you if you don't understand that. Everyone has a right to be happy and loved and not be numbed down with medication and injections. You don't know me, because if you did, you'd know my work. You'd check out my work. My work that was blocked from the minute I started telling you. Public, the public loved it. But from the minute I started telling the truth that you don't need medication for BPD, 
You need to be loved and love. You need to be able to love, to keep your heart open. But if you can't, people don't want you to love them. You love yourself, but you can only love yourself enough. And then I get accused of, of being ego. <laughs> Because I love myself enough to come on here on the awakening and tell you the truth. Take back your power and stop projecting all your crap onto me. Because the minute you look at what I've said to you, the minute you go inside and you really look at it with your personalities, then you will make a list of people that you have harmed. You will make a list and put yourself at the top and say, you know what? I am so sorry. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren, for come, having the guts and the courage to sit here and say to me, I don't love myself. I don't care about myself. Because all I can see is Lauren saying how she feels and her emoting and saying that she cannot function unless a nice, kind human being turns up occasionally once in a month or, or you know, I'm not, that's not that person's fault. They have their own lives. I'm saying that you cannot survive without love. We are tribal. And I would rather fall asleep and never wake up again if this is how my life is going to be forever. And that's a fact. And last night, I thought my heart was stopping. And I thought, I'll go with it, because I don't care anymore. Because if this world doesn't get any better, why would I want to be here? We need to fix our world together, guys. I'm telling you that now. So thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me the courage to come on here and to, 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 to play around with my hair and with everything. like. The big kid that I am, thank you for giving me the courage to come on here and to say to you, zombies, wake up. Because if you don't wake up and you stop projecting your crap onto people like me, we have no human race. We're finished. Wake up. Take back your power. Don't let Trump or anybody else be the person to save you. They're all falling out. Every single, uh, you know, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And they're all falling out. We need to stand tall and release humanity. How do you think humanity are going to feel about us if they know that we are all falling out? Light workers, indigos, we're all falling out. We cannot save humanity like that. United we stand, divided we fall. The lack of love takes away my, my, uh, I don't want to eat when there's no love because love and food are very connected. And I, I just, you know, I can only give myself so much. As I said, we're tribal. Jesus never traveled on his own. Buddha never traveled on their own. They always, the monks don't live on their own. We are tribal. And if anybody brought you up to believe you're not, that's not true. We're tribal. We need each other occasionally in between meditating, in between uh, spending quality time on our own. I'm not a vampire. You're not vampires. We need each other. Where we go one, we go all. We need to connect. You all have families and friends and homes. You all have. And probably that guy that thought he would project all his crap onto me as a family and kids and 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 a support system, a community. Think about how it feels to not have anyone and then come to me. Bow down to me and beg my forgiveness, whoever you are. I live on my own with two cats, with the occasional loving, caring human being that comes here or rings me. People ring me, thank God. But when someone like you comes on here, and judges me for being real, that's when it gets to me. And I think, well, this is my TV station. Fuck off. And I don't care that I'm saying fuck off. This is my TV station. And things have changed a lot since the awakening. Yes, moving on TV is about respect. Yes, moving on TV is about no violence. And moving on TV is about no sex. But 
I will say fuck off to you. Those of you that have no empathy, put yourself in my shoes. Put yourself in the shoes of another person that contacts me in the middle of another country. They have no one. No one. You don't have a clue. You're the zombies that have held back humanity because you have no love. You have no love in yourself because if you had love in yourself, you could not project it onto me because I'm mirroring you. I have love in myself and that's why I'm coming on here. And you know what these idiots will say? Oh, you're so narcissistic now, Lauren. You have too much in love with yourself. So make your mind up, you idiots. Do I love myself or am I narcissistic or, or what am I? All I do is give and give and give and give. I never earn anything, so fuck off, off my channel, off my station. I never earn a penny. I give you all the interviews from all these people, doctors and enlightened beings, and look at all the chat, 56,000 views for the programs I've given you. Comedy, free tarot, 40 free tarot. Has anyone ever said thank you? No, of course not, no. Why do I do it? Well, because I love it and I love you and I love running moving on TV because that's my life because I don't have anybody or anything else. So thank you because every time you push me down, I will go down a bit and then I will jump back another 10 million floors, create another COVID tour. Every time you push me down, I will go on the 19th and I will film real people. I won't earn anything. I never do. But yes, I will put out the cap and I will sing. I will sing if and when I want. Because I've been blocked from singing, from expressing what's in my heart. Why? Because you're so fucking dead that you can't do it. Wake up. You don't know what you take on when you take me on. I'm not scared of any of you. I'm scared of me. I'm scared that one day I would just go to sleep and say, I don't want to wake up anymore. I'm scared of the fact that this physical body doesn't breathe at night because it's, my heart is broken because the whole world has broken my heart. So I've come off my channel and say, I won't get more views. It's not a channel, it's a TV station. And if you looked and even knew what programs I made, and if you checked out some of them, you'd know this is a TV station, a new mainstream media, and not a channel. I'm real, okay? I'm not David Icke, and I'm not Kate Shimriani, and I'm not Mark Steele, because I cannot be. I don't know enough. I don't know what Kate knows about nursing and, and everything she puts out. I don't know what Mark Steele knows about 5G. I don't know what David Icke has known for years. All I know is about being human. And that part of me that is human has gone through hell. And it's still here fighting for you every single day to wake you up. And when I say things to you, that part of me, that human, asks for forgiveness, but this is something else that says these things to you. That part of you that came here to wake you up. I was wide awake until they took me to Israel and abused me and the wars. And then I became a mouse. Are you a mouse? Who put you to sleep? And now I'm wide awake. Now I'm wide awake. And if it takes me longer to get my viewers, to get the real amazing people that are coming to me, like police officers that are contacting me, whistleblowers, then I'll wait. I don't want you on my TV station. I only want real people. Some of you are on here with your real stories. Why, why don't you use what I put out here for you? Why don't you send it everywhere? Why don't you use what I've done? 
showing you in your glory, showing your truth, showing what you went through, the pain and what you come through, you all go through it and it's on. Watch messengers of light. Watch real people are messengers of light. Real people that go through hell and come through and become shamans. And if some of you are in here that you've lost your way, use those programs I've done about you. Instead of seeing me as a walking ego, because I'm not a walking ego, I'm suffering. God, I'm, I'm, I've got no one. Can you not feel that in your heart? That I've got no one, no parent. I had a family and now I have no one because I didn't agree with my father being euthanized. I had close friends. Even when I was in a wheelchair, they didn't come. What kind of friends are they? How could I push them away while I was in a wheelchair? If someone was in a wheelchair, I'd go to the other part of the world to take care of them. Because I tell people the truth, they run away. And as I said, from the human side of me, because I know how much they're going through. And you must be going through hell to be able to say what you said on your comments, whoever you are, Jonathan. You must be going through hell. You obviously are, don't feel that you have a right to feel anger or fear or to say the things I'm saying. Because by saying that, you thought you would shut me up. Well, guess what, sweetheart? I can't go on there and tell you what Charlie Ward is telling you. Hopefully I'll get him back and he will tell you I'm moving on TV. I can't tell you because I don't see it anywhere. Where is Nassar and Gassar? Where is the positive stuff? I don't see it. All I see is this lonely, empty, empty existence that I get up every day and I try to do my best to do an interview just to stay alive or to get out there to be at a rally because it's my only opportunity to be around humans most of the time. Do you understand that? Tell me about your life. Come on, Moving On TV. I challenge you, Jonathan. Come on to Moving On TV and you tell me about you, about your life. Everyone who's running me down and liking these comments that that person put on. Come on, Moving On TV. It's your channel. If I didn't, if you were on here, I wouldn't be even on here. Why would I be on here when it's your channel, but you don't want to come on and project your stuff? God knows I need somewhere to be that's safe. And this is my playground. So fuck off my playground if you're not real. Or come on my playground and play games. Play with me. Let's play. Let's have some fun like we used to. We used to have fun. Why can't we have fun? In spite of what's going on in the world, take time out to have some fun. So anyway, you ignited me today. You put the passion back in me. I've eaten nothing today. I got up at 7 p.m. Do you think that that's normal? Do you think that most people live like that, Jonathan? I bet you've got a child or a sister or a brother or a cousin or a friend or a job. I'm challenging you, Jonathan. Anyone who comes on here, I will not block you. I am challenging you to come on Moving On TV. I want to see the real you. And anyone who sits there in judgment of me, stop judging yourself and do what I do, be real, say the truth, you ungrateful bastard. Ungrateful bastards, those that don't subscribe to Moving On TV with all the work I do. Ungrateful, ungrateful, they just take and take and take. They don't pay me anything and they don't subscribe. They're just selfish, 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 selfish. 57,000 views and 1,500, not even 1,200, sorry, 1,200 subscribers. Come on, guys. Selfish. You like the programs. 
why won't you subscribe? Why wouldn't you like a program with Dr. Urzo, Dr. Jensen, Dr. Adil, Kate Shimriani, Mark Steele, Geza, all the amazing people that are out there? Why wouldn't you like the programs that I do? But no, I put these guys on and I get, if I'm lucky, I get 400, 500 views. Somebody else puts on who you think is God and when they fall off their pedestal and they will because everyone does because we're all human and God knows Lauren has fallen off her pedestal hasn't she good because I'm asking you what did you do today for humanity what did you do today for humanity did you interview interview Pierce Corbin no I don't think so did you interview Mark Steele or Kate Chimriani or any of the people that are moving on TV? Did you send some love to humanity by putting this on and teaching them about the 12 steps? Talking of which, how to stay sane in a crazy world. Watch some of my awakenings first. Watch my tarot shows, you fucking selfish pieces of shit. How to stay sane in the crazy world. I have worked for humanity for more than 10 years since I did the children's peace song, eight years, 2012, with a thousand children for peace and love. I've done nothing but work for humanity and been blocked. You know nothing about me. Do your research and check out Simply Amazing Chapter 8. Or get a pack of cards of how to stay sane in a crazy world. You make my skin crawl, those of you that won't take any responsibility for your own lives and your own feelings. Oh, poor me, poor me. Big bad Lauren said something to me and now I've gone, I can't cope, I can't cope, oh my God, I can't cope. My side of it is, yeah, big bad Lauren, that part of me did say something to you and I'm sorry. And I said, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to wake you up. We all have a job to do. The same way as you pushed and pushed and pushed me. Oh yeah, you all think you can push Lauren into different directions. Tough love, tough love, tough love. But you know, the minute that I wake up and I become what you wanted me to become, then you kick me out. Jonathan, whoever you are, if you're even Jonathan. Right, find the bit in the middle. Do you know what that even means, Jonathan? I challenge you, come on Moving On TV. How do you find the bit in the middle? Today I'm asking you to look for the middle way. I'm going to let the right answer for all concerned turn up. It's called empathy. Yous that stand judgment on you are the same kind of people that said, crucify him the minute that Jesus didn't live up to your expectations. And the middle that minute that Trump doesn't live up to your expectations, you'll say the same. Crucify him because you have no way of taking responsibility for your own life. I'm good. I'm so glad I rattled you because that brings out the real goddess in me to say the truth. So good luck to you, whoever you are and whoever gave him the thumbs up. Come on Moving On TV and show yourself. Show the real you. Go inside and try to figure out why whatever I did pissed you off so much. You obviously don't know the difference between ego and love. You don't understand that if you take two plants and one plant is given love and nurturing, and the other plant is given nothing, that plant will start to die, the one that was never given any love, and the one that was given continuous love, continuous love will thrive. Well, guess what? I'm a plant. Does that make sense to you as you don't seem to have any empathy? If you do not love your fellow human, they cannot thrive. And it'd be very interesting to see what kind of comments come up. I thrive that day, because that beautiful woman took me out with her kids and gave me a meal and held me when I was shaking because I was so scared of having to live in a crazy, chaotic loony bin without any love and without being able to give love, without connecting to my fellow man, my tribe, or who I thought was my tribe. Do you understand that? Or do you just, are you just dead? 
because it sounds like you're dead. So I thrived. And that's how people, if you pick someone up off the street, my father was picked up at Burnham Beaches. He had no one. He was taken into a family and he was brought up with love because he had no one. And he, grew, he lived to be a really old age because he was taken care of. He had a better childhood than I had. I had none. I had no mum. She wasn't capable of giving love. Anyway, I don't, I don't need to tell you about that. All I'm saying is, in order to, to, to win this war, you have to unite. And humans have to have love. All right? And when I come on here, it's a cry for help. It's a cry for help. I don't want to eat, all right? Fuck you. Go to hell. <laughs>